Well, hello there. I'm Clara Apollo with you again for another talking newsletter, a little tune in with me and you. Um, you know, here we are, the end of October. We're surfing into November. And it's sort of the time of the year where the existential fear is really starting to stir in us all. And so let's just tune in with that which is already here to help and support you. And I would like to offer my heart frequency um, bowl just to bring you into that place of stillness and calm and just being present with yourself for a few breaths now. the power to return to your breath time and again and I'd like to also remind you that when you do that to trust that as you exhale you can sink down and really feel the support that is underneath you holding you loving you and that support is directly connected to our great grandmother earth who has never let you down. She's consistently been there for you throughout the whole of your life and will continue to do so for as long as you need her to. I don't know about you, but when I found that out in that moment of clarity in an early Qigong class, it blew me away. It's like, how come I'd never noticed that before? And, and so I'm sharing that with you now. And as you know, we have a new moon coming up on Friday, super powered in Scorpio as it is. And it's also the first of the 11th, you know, that all these magic numbers are coming up here to support us and to remind us that we're not on our own. And not only are we being supported by spirit, we're here to support one another, you know, sharing tools and techniques, what's already working for you, what, have you, what do you already turn to? And when in doubt, rest and it sounds simple but it's so important we are all overwhelmed all of us there's so much information coming in and also the things that we expect ourselves to be able to do and maybe we run out of steam and then we berate ourselves for doing that we all push ourselves too much well if you don't let me know and i'd like to know some of your tips although some of my tips are I've really had to really had to drop back from the doing side of things because my nervous system is not happy. It's really not happy with this constant onslaught. And I was fortunate enough to go to the New Forest last week with my special friend and it was the middle of the week and we it, it intended to rest, recuperate and recover which we did to a certain extent, but it also opened a portal for a space for dynamic conversations of a very profound kind for which I'm hugely grateful and is ongoing. But we did get out into nature. We did get to um, hug some beautiful big redwood trees and sequoia trees down in the new forest and be like forest bathing. You know, you don't have to do a lot of that for it to work to you. It's just magical. And nature is always there to hold us. But I'm interested in this sustained um, period of rest and recuperation because most of us don't get that. And so when we came back, it was um, the weekend. And so I'm like, oh, an opportunity to continue with this. Yes, I still pottered, bimbled and mooched at the tasks that I have. And I'm taking that approach into my workload now. Mm, take the word load off of that into the tasks that I have, that I really do enjoy doing what I do, but it also means I'm on the computer a lot. Do you know what I mean? I bet you are too. We weren't built to be on computers a lot, built to use them wisely. And so I plugged in my ethernet cable, I've got my crystals around, and I'm stepping away and doing some shaking out and going out and looking at nature and really prioritizing this self-care because without that, when we're, you know what I mean? We're no good for ourselves and we're no good for helping others. And I know you know this, but I need to be reminded of it as much as I hope that you are um, enjoying being reminded 
the, you got a permission slip. There you go. You're allowed to rest, recover and recuperate. In fact, it's essential. And so what I've also been noticing is that most of us have got issues to do with steadiness, groundedness, stability, abundance and relationships. That's where most of the struggles come from, right? And with the full moon and the new moon activities coming along, we're tuning into those and it's really helpful with our meditations and to align with the seasons as they're um, unfolding. And, you know, I'm doing these quantum subconscious Akashic record clearings now. And the last one that occurred was on the full moon in Taurus. No, that's what's coming up, the full moon in Aries. And it, it kind of, it was requested of me, why don't you do a full moon cl clearing, Claire? I'm like, oh, wow, I could give that a go because we know that the full moon, like the clarity of the full moon, it shines a light on the shadows and it gives you time and space to be able to work on those in alignment with, with cosmic energies. And let's face it, we need as much help as we can get right now, don't we? We do. So I did it as a trial and like loads of people showed up. It was amazing, really, really amazing. And we were in the Aries energy of like it, that ignition, that beginning, that, that what is it you really want to clear? And not only that, what do you want to make sure is coming into your future? Because as soon as we clear out, we create space and then we can write in our records or we can vision into our quantum subconscious what it is we want to be aligning with and birthing into our world. And so after that, session i needed a little lie down as i'm sure many of you did as well a few days to integrate doing some of the qigong just the simple one the simple one the lifting the chi and pouring it down or the great wheel of cheers i call it just circulates your energy yeah it's just doing that you know breathing in as the arms glide up breathing out as they slide down the center and just when you've done your last one just bring your hands into crossed hands just on your just below your belly button and that's your deep resource center isn't it so um yeah honestly i know i've been doing these moves for years but that one is just always there for me and it's always there for you too but after this session and some beautiful reflections from people of deep shifts that occur have occurred for them I realized that doing the Akashic record clearings on the full moon was a really good idea. And to, because part of those, um, those clearings involve clearing the chakras. And the more I've been doing this with people, the more that specific chakras have been showing up for them. And whatever that, so we would focus on specific ones, but I would always, always focus on the base chakra first because that's your foundational one, isn't it? Yes. What's it the foundation for? Oh yes, yeah, stability, resource, abundance, relationships. Hang on a minute. What would it be like if we focused on a base chakra clearing at the next full moon and take it one step further and include clearing any soul contracts that are connected in with that base chakra that you're just done with? Yeah, exactly. So this inspiration landed for me. And I thought, yeah, then there would be lovely to be able to continue with each full moon and ride up the chakras through to sacral chakra, solar plexus, heart as the as the months unwind. But pull it back, pull it back. Let's just focus on one thing at a time. Because I don't know about you, but that really helps me when I don't get too much going on at once. One thing at a time. And so that that feeling of dropping into that presence of full moon activation. I look it up, it's a, it's a Taurian one. It's, a, it's an earth element, full moon. Base chakra, grounding earth. Yes, Are you up for it? You wanna come along? I'm gonna actually run this on the Thursday night, the 14th of November. Um, and the full moon is the following day on the Friday, but most people have stuff going on on Friday nights. But my feeling is if we prep for it, ooh, if we prep for it on the Thursday, then you can also come in and do repeats of it after then. So I'm excited about this. I feel we're really stepping into something magnificent to clear these old funks from like, I mean, we're doing generational clearing now. We really are getting out of the way so we can birth the new humanity through us, the new, the refreshed, the, the humanity that we wanna see. 
And it's how we also navigate through these tumultuous times to know where we're grounded, how connected we are, how true and sure our foundational chakra is to support everything else we want to do. I could go on about this for a while, but I, it's probably enough from me, isn't it, for now? But thank you so much for listening and watching. I will, yeah. But hop over to my website if you want to find out more about this. We're going to do it online from the set from seven to eight o'clock on Thursday, the 14th of November. And it's a really low price point. You will also get access to the sphere of light meditation. If you haven't got it already, I'll just throw that in in the package. And um, and then, as I said, you will get a replay of it so that you can continue rolling through it because you might find that the soul contract that you focus on in the session once that's cleared the next time round there'll be another one and then another one so we, we work in layers and levels with this and i know you know this but when you repeat things you repeat things along salient clear pathways your system starts to reboot and creates new habit patterns and then the old ones are able to drop away um, because there's no no room for them so if you want to come into being part of balancing our act for humanity and really visioning in a powerful future for yourself, for your friends and family and for our world, then join me. Come along on Thursday the 14th. Let's do this together. Oh, we can do this. We are doing this. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's have one more blast before I leave. So just grounding in into your base chakra into that which is already supporting you. Yeah. Be the breathing being you are. from your heart connecting with everyone else listening to this every time you watch this it ups the energy in here as we're creating these powerful places of being of support within the quantum field together the resources that we can create as a team are extraordinary and remember you are a magnificent being of light and love so stay steady and keep your chi up and i'll see you next time Maybe see on the 14th. Yeah, do it. Come along. Come along and tell your friends. <laughs> Thank you.